Hello everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today we're going to do something a little different. Well, it's something we've done before, but not in this format, I don't think. Um, we are going to do a thrift with me at Savers. I've already pre-recorded. I've gone through the mugs. I'm going through the mug section at Savers and I'm going to talk about the mugs I picked up and the mugs I didn't, the ones I left behind and why, and if there were any that I kind of wish that I had picked up. But I didn't. And then also fun part is as we're going along, if you see any that you think, oh, you should have grabbed that or you should have looked that one up. That way we all learn together. I learn, you learn, people that are watching are like learning learning too. Like, I'm like saying like. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. Let me see. I've got 10 friends watching right now. More come aha, more are coming in. Yay. So say hey over in the chat. And yeah, if there's questions and things that pop up then we will address them as we go along if they're pertinent. If not, I'll hang on to them till the end of the video. But before we get started, I wanted to bring one thing up as far as um, selling mugs. As you guys know, that's, here's my mugs over here. I'm starting to keep them more organized. One of the things that I like to resell are mugs. And I, here's the thing, hang on. Let me scoot my chair up. Let's get cozy for just a second. The thing about mugs or basically anything that you want to resell um i know it like when you when you watch people either on youtube or people in different thrifting groups and they'll say hey you should sell this you should try this um and then you go out and you buy a whole bunch of that whatever that is ask me how i know because when i first started i did the same thing with you know suits or shoes or whatever it was at the time ties you know and you just go buy all the ties um but there's a little work that goes into it, a little research has to go into it, and it'll save you a whole lot of time and money if you slow down and think about quality over quantity. Um, and then also to take into account the the amount you're spending up front for the item um, and then the return on investment that you can get for that item. So with that being said, let me flip. Um, I didn't I didn't plan on talking about this really. But let me go ahead and pull this side up just so you've got it because we're on topic. So if you're like, well, I don't know how to do that. So over here, I'm going to put in um, eBay final value fee. So there's a calculator you can go to. Oh, gosh, I hit the wrong calculator. There we go. Calculator. Is it not showing up for you guys? Hang on. Oh, dear. What has happened? Now I'm wondering why is my... Why isn't it showing you what I want it to show you? There's that. Okay, got it. That. But it's not registering that I've changed, that I flipped over to another thing. Hang on. There? There we go. I don't know. That's weird. I don't know why I did that. Okay. So there's a, a final value fee calculator that if you're like, I don't know um, how I'm going to do that, how to figure that out, then you'll come in here and say, oh, if I'm going to sell a mug for, for $15, which I know a lot of people say, oh, don't waste your time. That's not enough money. But if you think about it, you know, shipping charge, I always charge the shipping. So that's like a padded flat rate, about eight bucks. Now here's where you have to pay attention. The item cost. So if you spent a dollar for this mug, eBay store, yes, I have one top rated seller. No, then that's a $10 profit. So if you are able to pick up a, a mug for a buck and flip it for 15, then that's a fair profit. That's $10. Um, if you want, you know, it, the lower that you can get it, the lower price you can get it, the better off you'll be. Okay, so I just wanted to get that out of the way because I do get people saying, oh, my mugs don't sell. I don't understand. So that you can hopefully, hang on, let's see if we're back on track over here. Okay, so that you can hopefully get um, something selling and, and not waste money. Now, you know, if you're at a garage sale and mugs are a quarter or a dime or whatever, hey, go for it. But still think about, <laughs> is it going to sell? All right, so let me get this going. I was going to do this totally differently, but of course I changed my mind at the last minute. Welcome to my world. Hang on, oh brother, I really had this set up and now it's just like, there, okay. So I was gonna make the video, we were gonna edit it and I was gonna edit it and do all that fun stuff, but I thought, let's let's go through it together. So you ready for the theme music? <laughs> Here we go, all right. Doo -doo. 
All right, so this is the part where I say, hey guys, we're gonna be talking about mugs today. Yay, blah, 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 whatever the things, you can flip mugs, isn't that awesome? And that's one of the ways I make money is by selling mugs and things like that on eBay and Etsy. This is when I normally do my voiceover for the videos, but I was like, ah, let's go live with this instead. So, and then I say, hey, if you wanna leave me a comment, do that and go subscribe because it's fun and I like it and you like it too. <laughs> so, all right, so here we are. We're at Savers, and the mug prices are a little bit better than they are at the Goodwills around here. Um, as you can see, a lot of them are about a buck twenty-nine. I picked up this. Well, I didn't end up buying this Finding Dory mug at first. I thought, oh, cute! It's it's Nemo. Um, so I did put it in my cart, but then here's where, oh, my cue. So it's supposed to go fuzzy, and then I say, oh, okay, now it's time for me to look at the the research. So here it is. So let's do that. So here we go. Tell me if this is so distracting to do it this way. But I thought it'd be fun. It's a little bit different. So anyway, I go and I look up the mug and I do this while I'm at the Goodwill. Let me scoot it over a little bit. Okay. And so I'm looking for that same Finding Dory mug and there it is. There's one that's up there for $12.99. Buy it now. They've got the shipping on there and I didn't see a whole lot of them. So let's go over and take a peek at the solds because that's kind of what you have to go by. I know some people say you have to go by that, it's hard and fast, but for me it's not because it kind of depends on what's up there as well, for me. So I feel like I saw one that it sold and that's why I didn't pick it up because I was like, oh, the sold prices are not super great on that. Maybe it's just that I was looking at other Finding Dory mugs and they didn't really sell for that much. So I decided that I didn't want to pick it up. I swear I saw it up there, but now, sorry, it's going to fly by real fast. I'm going to zoom past real fast. Um, when I was looking for this mug, it wasn't, I, it was there, I thought. Anyway, for whatever reason in the store, I decided that it wasn't going to be a good pickup. So I didn't pick it up after all. Tell me what you would have done. Would you have gotten it anyway and chanced it or not? Okay, so let's flip back over to the video. I'm going to make this smaller again. Here we go. This is the part that's like, oh, all the, some people get annoyed with all the moving of the screens and all of that fun stuff, but eh, it's better for me <laughs> for today. Anyway, for my purposes, I wasn't going to be able to get this video up today, honestly, if I didn't do it live because we have things and my mother's coming. Isn't that fun? Um, okay. So Lin uh, Lisa says, Question, I just flipped a Polar Graphics Yellowstone National Park mug for 20 bucks. was listed four days. Wow. Uh, I paid a buck oh six for a good flip. I say so. I mean, because that's a good, I don't know, about $15 profit or so. That's pretty good. I know sometimes when you're like, oh, it sold so fast. Was it too low? No, it was perffect. You're happy. They're happy. That Jazzercise pin, I just listed it last night, bought it yesterday or the day before. It sold this morning. I was like, Darn it, maybe I listed it too low. No, no, it's fine. Okay, pushing play again. So here we go. We're looking through some more mugs and I'm not seeing anything just yet that uh, is looking promising. Just kind of blah mugs. This one was kind of neat. This Faith, what does it say? Faith can move mountains, but oh, it was grody. I know that would wash off, but I didn't really think that it was going to be something that would sell for too much. Then... Looking along here, there were people coming, so I you might see a few chop outs where, it, okay, this is a Starbucks mug, and for whatever reason, I didn't show that it has the logo on the other side. So let's take a peek at that Starbucks mug, because not all Starbucks mugs are created equal. They're not all worth a ton of money. So let me get that back up here. Okay, so we're done with that one. So the Starbucks mug was kind of like this but the logo was smaller so I think um, the one that I saw that was sold that was just like the one that I had there I think it only sold for like five bucks it was a short one and then the logo was smaller I think it was kind of like this maybe it was supposed to have a, a set of four of them or something but it was just kind of like no it wasn't going to fly for me, you know, to spend a buck 29 for a mug and then it only sells for maybe $8. And this is some of the taller ones. Yeah, the, the, see, these logos are much bigger. The one that was on that mug was a lot tinier. So then it makes me wonder, no, oh, there it is. Okay, something like that, smaller. 
Okay, so I didn't end up getting that Starbucks mug. All right, we're moving you back to the back. Here we go. Boom. Okay, so then next, okay. Looking in the chat real fast. So Bargain Shed says, I typically take the stance on Disney mugs is I have a minimum price unless comps are much higher. I've had a few where the mug's showing lower comps, but I'm not afraid. Of oh, this is true. That's a good point. I'm not afraid of having mugs do long tail. I totally agree with that. Um, and then there's that perceived value effect as well, where it's like you you see one that's up there for $4 and you see one up there for $15 and you're like, ooh, the $15 one must be nicer, right? So, um, yeah, I completely agree with that. Okay, so next up, any guesses on what this little cute tail is over here? <laughs> it is this really cute panda mug, and he's kind of got a 3D effect. Marshalls, there's a tag on there that says $5.99, but guess what? That tag is going to come right off. And let me show you what I'm going to... I did pick up this one, the little cute panda mug. So let's take a peek at the research for the panda mug. So I typed in 3D panda mug and these are up right now. So here we go. This one's up for 1820. This one's up for 1799 or 799. That's the thing too like even though you see these three that are up there very different prices. Um, like if you can get some stellar photographs of it then that's going to help sell your item as well. Make your item, your photos and your listing look really professional. You know make sure you're your um, customer reviews are on point and then you won't have a problem selling things. This isn't exactly it, but it's kind of like that. That one's actually kind of cuter. Ah, uh, here we go. So here's the exact mug, both of them, right? So here, all of these are the same exact mug. Tell me, this one sold for $17, $8, dollars Now I know this one says free shipping, but yeah, I mean, that's still more, at least 10 bucks that it sold for. So I got it and I'm going to put it up there for probably, probably closer to that $17 mark because why not? And then there, and then you see, this is what I'm talking about too. When I look at the prices, I don't just look at the solds. I also go back and look and see, well, how many are still listed? Because I think we saw what, only three there? One, two, three. So there are three that are up there. So what do I, that tells me, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh, there's more. No, but they're all over the place, right? With the prices. <laughs> they're coming out of the woodworks. Pandas everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and probably put mine up for, that's still $17 or so. And I'm just going to make sure my pictures look really, really nice. So let's move this back again. Um, same kind of concept, like I'm not worried about it because I think it's going to be cute. I think it'll sell no problem. Okay, let's see. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> hi, everybody else. Sorry, I didn't get to say hi to everybody. Um, yeah, and they make up the low prices with, with the high shipping charges, right? So you're going to pay either way, right? Um, Dan says, do you find much difference in the sole prices of earthenware versus bone china mugs that tend to do to be a better quality? No. And there, that's a good question because I actually have both of those items coming up. It's like we're on the same wavelength today. <laughs> that was kind of nerdy, but hey, why not? All right, so let's do this. Um, jingle all the way. It's a cute mug, but I don't really buy a whole lot of Christmas mugs. I just don't. I, I don't know why. I don't even really look at them. Lone Star Living, that's cute. Um, I'm going to take a drink while we're watching this. Pardon me if that sounded gross. Um, so the, yeah, I didn't, those mugs were kind of meh. <clears throat> nope, nope. Santa's workshop, that one's kind of cute. Now, if he was an African-American Santa, I'd probably get him because you just don't see as many. <coughs> okay, Starbucks mug, same deal. Okay, so we've got this Starbucks mug, gray on the outside, and then it's got this, you know, cute little pattern on the inside. I didn't end up getting this one either. Same deal. I looked it up and hang on. Here we go. Ah, Ginny says her Christmas mugs aren't selling either. I think it's because you can get them so like you see them at the dollar store and then people grab them super cheap and they throw a bunch of candy in it and give it to the teacher. Like that's really what the teacher wants. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so <laughs> that sounded bad. I'm so, I was so grateful for everything I ever got as a teacher. Um, 
<laughs> so here's this mug that was up there. So Starbucks cup mug, $3.99. Again, this one's on auction, but even still, buy it. Look, here's what Jenny was talking about. Buy it now. $10.23 shipping. It's There's no way it's going to cost more than a padded flat rate to ship this thing, unless you're doing it wrong. So $8 tops, and that's if you don't get your you know, discount for shipping with eBay. You know what I mean? So here's another one. Seven, $13 shipping. Whatever. So flipping over here, um, here's one that sold for that $5, $12 60 for shipping. So, I mean, if you just take four of those dollars, flap it over there, that's still nine bucks, um, that they would probably get on that mug. So I passed on it because it was going to be a buck something, buck 29 to, to buy it. So I didn't get that one. All right, let's move the video back up and we'll keep going. Carol says, are the Starbucks Christmas mugs selling? I have a pair with mittens listed and one watcher on them. Ooh, I don't know. I guess it depends. I'd ha I, I don't know. That's a good question. People that buy Starbucks mugs with a name on the outside most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> they want people to know they drink Starbucks. Exactly. Um, yeah. Okay, let's push play again. So move, I'm a buff baby that can dance like forward. a man. I can my. shake a man. Danny, I can shake yeah. a man. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> We're going to a friend's house. Okay, this thermoserve mug with the little strawberries on it. Sorry, I got past myself there. I didn't I didn't even look it up because I was like, eh, that's probably not gonna be anything. But then as I'm doing the the video and setting all this up, I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and look it up because maybe that was something I should have picked up. So I went back and I did a search for thermo serve mugs. Hang on, let me drop that down so you can see my thermo serve mugs. And then strawberries. Well, there's a strawberry shortcake one that's up for $7.95. And then, let me go look at sold. I just set it up. I didn't like go through and do all the research because isn't it fun to do it together? It's way more fun. <laughs> Okay, let me take strawberries out just to see if the thermoserve mugs are, if there's any of them that we should double look at, you know. And from what I'm seeing, not not really. Here's one with a car on it, so that's a maybe. But no, not really. Sports, Minnesota Vikings, maybe. Meh. Okay, well, it was worth a check see. Look at this with the little cute little mushrooms. But no, I'm not going to sell it for that price. Okay, I made a good choice then. Then let's move back on again. Bring the video back up. I have an itch. Okay, here we go. Tell me if this looks okay, you guys, because I, I am not used to doing it like this. Okay, so here's another Starbucks mug, and I knew what it was because uh, there was a series that Starbucks did with like artists and stuff. There were Van Gogh and Monet, and this one I think is Burroughs. Um, and but. I know it's not supposed to look like that. It's really like somebody scuffed the finish off of it. It's supposed to be smooth and shiny and all that kind of stuff. So, but let's take a look. I I had one of the Van Gogh mugs. I don't know what I did with it. I don't remember selling it. I don't remember. So, Starbucks Chaleur mug and then Burroughs is the artist name. So, if you see those, they look like an artist's painting on them. He's also the one that did the diner, that fancy, that's a really famous one, the diner. So on solds, as far as those go, the diner one looks like maybe it's doing a little bit better. Here's the Van Gogh. That's not the same one. So I mean, it's worth a look-see. See, here's the mug, how it should look, the one that, um, Okay, Chaleur de Barros, Vincent Van Gogh coffee mug. Yeah. Okay, so this is the one, and it should have looked like this. The colors should have been really vibrant and all that. Yeah, ran through the dishwasher one too many times. Yeah, definitely. It didn't. It didn't look so hot anymore. Okay, so this is another one. This is the stoneware one. I was. I was telling you. I saw. I've looked up a couple stoneware ones in this video, and and this one I didn't even look up while I was at the thrift store. I was like, eh, I'm not really gonna go there with this you know, giraffe stoneware mug, but maybe I should have. I, that, and I didn't follow my own advice that I tell everybody like animals, people have their animal, right? Oh, brother. So here we go. 
I mean, here it is, basically, $18. And this is not sold, but that's there's one up there for 18 bucks. Oh, Margaret, when will you learn? <laughs> and here's one that's sold for 8 bucks. But that, to me, like, I wouldn't go off of this sold price because there's only one sold, and then there's only one that's still up there. So um, I probably should have gotten it, but I didn't. So keep that in mind. Like, I probably would have bought it and put it up for... Hang on, let me take it off. And I know this one maybe is a little bit taller, maybe. But I still, I would have gotten, I probably would have put it up for like $16 or so. Um. <laughs> Dan, have you been secretly watching my video without, <laughs> you have access to my computer? Just wait. There's oil, there's an oil mug in this video. This is creepy. It's getting creepy, Dan. I'm going to have to change all my passwords. Ma, come get your coffee. I almost wish I'd gotten that for myself, but I didn't. <laughs> okay. Then, that tea time one I almost got. Okay, Totoro. Totoro alert. It's a really tall, if you know Totoro, he's done by um, Miyazaki. Um, and he did, what's the, Studio Ghibli. And they've done like Spirit of the Way and, and those kind of movies. Um, so I got Totoro, even though I could not find this mug on eBay. So let me show you what I did find as far as Totoro mugs. Oh, that's the mall. Come get your coffee. Because I was like, I should have gotten that. So I just typed in tall orange Totoro mug and no matches found. But look, here's a Totoro umbrella mug. Here's one that's up there for 56 bucks for this this glass mug, 60 something dollars on that one. Let's look at solds. Um, so here's a My Neighbor Totoro. Here's one that's kind of like that, same kind of tall, for $15.99. Let me take orange out and just do tall Totoro mug. Ah, what happened? Hang on, I opened a new tab, or a new window rather. So, yeah, still, just those two. Um, so I'll probably put it up, you know, in the $25 realm, just because I don't have it up there. I may do a, just a regular Google search and see what I find as well, because, yeah, sometimes I don't just go off of what eBay says. So, oh, Diane, that sounds like heaven. She says, my grandson's class put together and got the teacher a day at the luxury spa. Yes. That's the way to do it because you know those teachers are tired and they're on their feet all day and up and down off the floor depending on what age level they teach. I, my, when I stopped teaching, I was in kindergarten, so. <laughs> yep, all over the place. Okay, so these are just kind of like, meh. And then, been there, done that. He's kind of angry. I, I should have looked up the tea time mug too. That might have been a fun one to, to get. Uh, just flowers and oh my gosh this chanka chank I would have gotten it if it hadn't been like messed up <laughs> chanka chank uh, with the accordion because how many accordion mugs do you see right and from what I understand you know Weird Al is bringing accordion sexy back so <laughs> this is this is the word on the street so I can't tell if it's a ghost or my kids um <laughs> So here's the, there are two, Chanka Chank, and then some other mug for $15. But I did a search for just, um, no, that's not it. Okay, I thought I did a search for accordion. Oh, I did. I remember why. I did a search for accordion mugs, and I came up, the, the search came up with those accordion mug hooks that I love so much, you know. But yeah, I would have totally got it if it was nice. Okay, so moving on. Let's see, what are we looking at here? I need some lotion. My hands are dry. So this is a really, okay, here's the Bone China one, right? So this is really pretty and dainty. And then Elizabeth, Elizabethan Bone Shining made in England. Um, and this one, the actual, because this was your question, Dan, from a second ago. Would the stoneware one with the fine Bone China generally do better than a stoneware mug? And no, because look. I didn't find that one, but look, my giraffe was a stoneware, and this Elizabethan whatever brand, but fine bone china, is not, none of them seem to be doing very well. Five bucks, six bucks, six, that's $17.99 is okay, but no, mo like three nine, three forty nine. dollars um, where's the one I have on my grandmother's? 
Maybe I shouldn't. I'll tell, I'll tell you later. Anyway, so as you can see, what are they doing? They sound like banshees. I guess they'll come if they need me. <laughs> okay. So fox hunt, those ones seem to be doing okay. So yeah, if 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 you're just going off of, oh, this is fine bone china, it's going to be worth something. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay. Then let's move this back down and we'll jump back to our video. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of comments. There's too much flipping around. I can't take it. Sorry, y'all. I got to do what works for me today. And this is what works. Okay, so here's this. It looks like somebody painted this Domamon mug, maybe at like one of those painted pottery kind of places. But I was like, ooh, he'll be a fun uh, thumbnail picture. So this is me like setting up the thumbnail picture. Ta-da! There. Okay, good. So moving on. Um, dog mugs can do okay, but that one was just kind of like me. Hello, beautiful. I passed on that one too. And hello, handsome. I passed on that one too. So Jen's asking in the chat, what's the best box for mugs? Maybe show what you use. I usually use a six by four by four, depending on the size of the mug. And then I put that inside a, a padded flat rate. And, and that's what I do. And unless it's a bit bigger, and then I use an eight by eight by eight. So I thought this Mr. and Mrs. mugs, I thought they were gonna be winners. They were not. So let me show you what those were going for. I had them in my cart and I, I mean those were the first ones that I that I really thought like when I was looking them up was going to be um, my biggest winners but they weren't. Sometimes your gut is wrong. Oh I looked up the I don't sparkle I sweat. I don't sweat I sparkle rather. <laughs> um, okay Mr. Look seven dollars. I need like an intercom system. Hey kids what are you doing down there? Why does it sound like a banshee? that's what it's that's what i'm hearing like but if somebody was upset or hurt they would come to me four dollars okay as a mother though your brain starts going but what if they're both hurt <laughs> they're not okay moving on so i didn't do that i know i'm missing stuff in the chat i'll come back in just a second there's a stoneware mug and Let's see what we have next. Peace, love, and frogs. Pass. Oh, I do get this mug. $2. This is a flyers. I forget what the P stands for. My hockey friends are going to be like, Margaret, how could you? Um, so I do get this mug. Um, the f is it? I'm not even going to say because if I get it wrong, then I'm just never going to hear the end of it. So <laughs> NHL, fly Philadelphia, that's what I was going to say. I was definitely not going to say Pittsburgh. So Philadelphia Flyers mugs. Some of them are like, eh, so-so, but, uh-oh. Okay, I thought I was still going. But this one had this three-dimensional. Here we go. So $14.99 on that. I did pay the $2 for it. Philadelphia Flyers. There are some that are a little bit better um, than others. But look, $11.20 on shipping. It's not going to. Well, this one is probably not going to fit in a 6 by 4 by 4 But I don't think it's going to cost $11 to ship it either. So... There's one that's, so look at this. This one sold for $29.99, free shipping. But I'll put it in an 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight box. And I know there's a 6x8x4, by, six by by I think that somebody else was saying that they used for, for, um, for mugs as well. But um, I've never tried that. And some, was it Jenny? Were you saying that? That, um, that, that it would fit in a, in a padded flat rate. But I don't know because I've never done it. Okay, so continuing on. Anyway, they must be playing video games down there. <laughs> I'm so distracted by what they're doing. Okay, Los Musicos, Day of the Dead, sort of, mug, but, mm, eh. So again, just kind of look at, this was a little milkware glass. It was nice, but there wasn't a name for me to uh, look it up by. I'm going to come back and look at the chat in just a second so I can try to get through this this part of the video. I passed on that. Again, there are some here that I might, like if I saw them at a garage sale or say at the bins where it would be like a dime or something to pick them up, I might have done it because then your return on investment is way better. 
this one too, like I almost wish I picked up this little sailboat mug. Um, it was a buck twenty nine. There was no maker's mark on it, and I was like, eh, maybe not. But now I kind of wish I had gotten it. Oh well. Excellent teacher. Guess how many teacher how many mugs teachers get? A lot. <laughs> okay. Um, French Quarter mug. Pass. Pass. If you see one that you're like, oh, you should have grabbed that. Say so. Mr. Wright. Okay, I'm going to come back and look at that. That one's cute, too. I didn't look that one up, either. Okay, so... Anybody, would you want a, a mug from your, I'm guessing, lawyer's office? That's probably, the, like, the sooner you can get rid of your lawyer and any remnants of them, the better, right? Any reminders, I should say, remnants. So this one was pretty cute. Okay, here here's a mug that's got a signature on it. So I generally... Say, if you see a mug that's signed by an artist or whatever, or, you know, such and such designed for blah, 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 then, you know, take a second to look it up. This one didn't end up being worth that much. So here it is, H. Hargrove, Coach Stop, General Store, blah, blah, blah. So this one, are these two are up here for not too much, but let's go look at the solds while we're at it. There are none. So I didn't get it. I was like, yeah, it's not worth it. And it's not super awesome. And there's not a whole lot. Another thing, too, is like there's not a whole lot of um, buyers for that, you know. So if you were looking at something that had a lot more interest, things on it that would be of interest to people, then I would say go for it. All right. Let's see what else we've got here. Pass, pass, pass. Love is brewing. Ooh. Perk up. I just like this yellow mug, but I didn't get it either. I did look this one up as well, but it was not, it wasn't. And then I didn't want to show it to you because when I typed in perk up mug, there was just like stripper mugs. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? That one was only going for maybe like eight or ten bucks. Darnell Army Hospital. Ha, see, look, here. I almost wish I got this with the oil, oil wells on it. It's all just like a big oil field. No maker's mark or anything but I bet it probably would have sold because there's a lot of oil guys out there so please go away I'm reading there were a number of those up there as well of different styles and then this one it looked like these like flying pigs I wish I'd have stopped for a second to look it up but I just totally I did not now coming up this little snowman mug that's coming up is a, a crate and barrel mug and Crate and Barrel is a really good brand, but this mug was one that was not worth picking up. So let me show you. Because Crate and Barrel, oh, I do have it up. There we go. Oh, no, I brought it too far ahead. Back one. Get back. Okay, so there's the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And, oh, this is the Please Go Away I'm reading. There were so many up there that I was like, eh, okay, never mind. So here's the Crate and Barrel. The one I got was a smaller size mug but it just I mean like smaller than even this but generally like crate crate and barrel like pottery barn are ones that their stuff can do really well so usually when I see crate and barrel or pottery barn it's something I'll st stop and double check on because some of their stuff does pretty well okay let's they're coming they're coming I can hear them Okay, if they come in, I will tell them what for. Here they come. Hang on. I'm live. Okay. Hey, you two, get ready because in like a few minutes we got something to do. Okay. All right. That was really cryptic. Okay. So official retirement mug. I passed on that one too. And the piggy, maybe the last one. And then normally, I'm going to come back to the chat, but this is at the end where I'm like, thanks so much for watching my mug video. Make sure you go down there and leave me a comment and all the other fun stuff that you do. And, you know, if you want all your dreams to come true, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. And, you know, especially if your dream is to have more videos from me. <laughs> That's what you should do. Okay, so let's come back and take a peek at the chat. And <laughs> we'll just pretend like all the awkwardness didn't happen. I can, let's see if I can pull the chat up here and we can hang out together. Aha, there it is. Can I scoot me over too? There I can. Okay, make it bigger. Make it so, and then scoot you over more. Good deal. Okay, so hello. Okay, let's see if we have anything in here. Only it's weird that I'm staring the wrong way. There we go. Okay, uh, we, 
We did that one already. Typical stance, Disney mugs. We did that. Hi, hi, everybody. So glad that you're here. So, yes, totally spooky. <laughs> um, you charge 8 to 10.40 to ship depending on weight, Carol says. Yeah, I usually I usually charge about eight bucks because normally I can get most of my mugs in a padded flat rate, and then with the eBay discount or whatever, it, it works out to be like seven dollars and something. But even if I get it in an eight by eight by eight, it doesn't normally cost too too much more than that. So I don't remember sh having one that's that went up to that weight. But hey, everybody's got their own deal, right? Um, let's see. Jenny says, I priority FOMO for seven sixty five or free and add it into the cost of the mug. If they're less than a pound, I charge five twelve. Hmm, okay, yeah. FOMO is the, that's, that's Jason's method, and I forgot what he, what the FOMO stands for. I don't even remember what the FOMO, it's not the fear of missing out. It's, he's got another acronym for how he ships his mugs called FOMO. I don't remember what it stands for. <laughs> He's going to get me. Um, Bargain Shed says, Starbucks are ones I typically pass on. Yeah. Christmassy ones, you mean? Or any of them. Yeah. So, next. Okay, we talked about that. Good. Totally gotten the Totoro. Oh, yeah, I have that. And I I don't think I have even taken this haul out of the car yet. Because I'm kind of overwhelmed. Because I have a, a Savers haul. It's not a ton of stuff, but it has these mugs, and it's sitting in the back of my car right now uh, because I want to wait, and then I'll share. So you might see some of these mugs again in when I do my haul video for because I had some other things I picked up too. Oh, you saw Weird Al in person. He came here this, this past year, and I really wanted to go, but I didn't. But I really wanted to. I like Weird Al a lot. So, uh-oh, my chat jumped, so I'm scooching back up. Ah... Gosh, how far back did I look? Oops. Okay, there's the FOMO. There's the that. There's the that. Sorry. Oh, Lawrence Welk mug. Sweet. You went, it went quick. Yeah, I would think that was one that you wouldn't see a whole lot of, right? Uh, yeah. Bye. Okay. It's the possessed jack in the box. Do I still have that thing over there? It's somewhere. It's around here somewhere. And here's the thing. Okay, speaking of, I know this is off topic, but y'all y'all know how I have this this doll over here. And my cats love this doll. They want to sleep in its lap all the time. It's so weird. <laughs> I'll have to get a picture. There's nobody in its lap right now, but. Um, how do I make selling mugs faster? Well, it would have to be, you have a Star Wars mug on eBay. Star Wars, that's the thing. Star Wars mugs are, there's a lot out there. So it's pretty saturated. So you've got to be really picky about what mugs you pick up. Definitely. Bailey is asking, do I buy boxes? Not usually, not anymore. Um, I get my eBay coupon for my shop. So I usually use that, my eBay coupon. So lots of mugs. Da -da -da -da. Okay. So that's it for today, you guys. Um, definitely go down there and, and hit the subscribe button and the little bell if you would like to catch me live or you want to find out when I put up new videos. And leave me a comment. Let me know if you've been selling any mugs lately. Jenny's got a great group. What's it called? Mug of the Week on Facebook where they really talk, dive deep into mugs and talk about what's been selling and, and all that kind of fun stuff. So I recommend her group for mugs if you're into that. Okay, and I hope you guys have a really great afternoon, and we're going to head out, and we'll see you later. Okay, I will talk to you on the next one. Bye, everybody. I'm hitting goodbye, and it doesn't do it when I say it. Okay, bye.